VR Menu Mouse Fix, Latest Update Showcase. Hello everyone, I'm Shizoff. Today I'm going to talk about the latest updates in VR Menu Mouse Fix mod. First of all, for anyone that doesn't know about this mod, I'll explain what it does. VR Menu Mouse Fix shows the hidden mouse cursor in some menus. It also allows using your controllers to move the mouse in those menus and allows clicking or activating other functions while options are hovered. Up until now, there were some quirks to use this mod, but since the benefits outweighed the small issues, many people still used it. Today I'm happy to report that those quirks are no more. In the latest updates, the functionality of the modi is redesigned to fix those issues. But before showing those, I want to mention another mod made as an add-on to Menu Mouse Fix. It is called Stable Hands VR Mouse Stabilization, a mod by Nightfall Storm. This mod makes VR Menu Mouse easier to use by adding configurable DPI, Dead Zone, and smoothing to mouse cursor to make it less of a headache to use with controllers. I strongly recommend installing that mod to use alongside Menu Mouse Fix. Now, back to updates. Version 1.5.0 of VR Menu Mouse Fix added Laser Pointer. You can now see where you pointed easily. It makes using mouse cursor much easier with controllers. You can also make the cursor itself invisible from the config file if you want. One of the main problems people had with Menu Mouse Fix was the requirement to point the controllers to write in inventory or similar menu pages for scrolling. Because, mouse captured the hovered inventory item automatically, which made using the mouse in those menus very hard. With the latest update, 160, Menu Mouse Fix now automatically moves the mouse cursor to the scroll bar while you are scrolling with your thumbstick. This makes item list scrolling just like in Flatroom. And if you want to still use the thumbstick scroll selection, instead of mouse hover selection, you can point it down and out of the menu area. This makes it much easier to use, especially in large item lists. So now, let me show you how the mouse cursor works in various menus. I have already shown you the inventory and magic menus. I'll continue with barter menu. The finest weapons and armor. Just like inventory, pointing inside the item list and using the thumbstick would scroll the item list. And if you point to below the menu, you revert to normal item changing. In container and barter menus you can easily switch to other side by clicking the name of the other container. As you can see, using the barter menu like this is very easy. For quantity menu you can use the mouse to click and select the count easily. Note that for accepting the amount, those yes-no buttons are not real buttons. So you need to point the mouse down and press trigger to accept. I think I saw that first. You're so lucky. You really think I can be a blacksmith someday, Papa? In crafting menus, you can scroll and find the item much faster. If you have Cox VR installed, make sure you pay attention to where you are on the left side categories. Because if you are on the left side, it would scroll left side. You need to use the thumbstick to switch to right side before scrolling. Like other menus, pointing the cursor down would make it switch to the old scrolling method. As you can see, scrolling like this saves a lot of time. Personally, I can't play the game without this mod myself. I hope you'll like it as well. In the journal menu, the mouse scrolling functionality is disabled. Instead, you can use mouse click on scroll bars to scroll if you need to. The reason for disabling is that this whole menu consists of a lot of elements, and in different pages, 
different functionality is required. For example, even the MCM is part of the journal menu. In the MCM, having a mouse makes things very easier because of all the options you need to click and all the sliders you need to adjust. Using mouse to select the value saves a lot of time. Scrolling is done by the usual method here in the MCM, but you don't have to point the mouse down or to the side. While scrolling the selected item changes without getting reset. Other than these, VR menu mouse fix supports Oblivion-esque lock picking redone. You can use the thumbstick to move to the next pin and raise them. You can use a button to lock the pin. This button can be changed from the config file. I hope you liked the new fixes and additions in the mod. Now, before closing I want to point out that if you have any issues or suggestions or comments about any of my mods, please report them to me on the mod page. People usually only write and talk about them in obscure places on the internet, instead of telling about them to me. If I don't know about your issues, I can't fix them and make the experience better for you, which I sincerely want to do. That's it. Thanks for watching. As always, have a good day, month, and year. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.